It's one of those ten. Dun 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 dun. It's just a dollar off. And it keep on works. Do 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 do. It's one of those ten. Dun 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 dun. Quiz no stop. Like what? This is all. We're playing Renegade X today. And it looks like I actually have some money here, so we're gonna buy a vehicle. I just recently upgraded to Windows 10, and uh. What a bit of lag here. So we'll see what that's all about. Oh, I think our power plant's down. Yeah, our power plant's down. So everything's twice as expensive. So, knowing that, I'm just gonna save for a minute. Let's see. Oh, get wrecked! Get slain! Get slain! Alright, so Yes, Windows 10 it, It's alright um, The only problem is it doesn't run StarCraft 2 Oh And that is like the main game I want to play Because of Orbit and I like that. I'm trying to play that more. Um, it's been really busy. I haven't been able to make any videos. I've been working on getting a little bit ready. It's pretty much ready. I just gotta fix a couple things. Got some feedback on it already. So uh, it was an issue that I thought would probably be an issue. And uh, I'm gonna get that fixed. I'm gonna add a little bit to the tutorial. And overall, it'll be a much better game because of it. GDI Tiberium Refinery. Who's that? What the hell is that? GDI Tiberium Refinery. It's a guy. It's very strange. Uh... Oh! Snipers, bro. Alright, so... I'm gonna save for a mountain, I guess. Let's see if we can go do some good damage here. Anyway, yeah, Windows 10. You know, I like it. You know, is it Windows 7? I don't, maybe. Maybe it's just you guys Windows 7. Maybe now, Windows 7 is XP and everyone's, you know, everyone's holding on, but why? Should we hold on to the past? No, at the same time, Windows 8 is terrible. For plenty of reasons. Uh, yeah, I'm just working on Orbit. Hopefully, I made, made the first video, and I'm just waiting to fix a couple things before I actually do put it up. I gotta make some more videos for that and get it all going. Um, I also am looking at starting a new uh, series on my channel, which will be 3D printing. And I'll just be making videos about how to extract the models and how to fix them and how to print them. As well as uploading all the models for free. I'm going to uh, work on the Thingiverse. See if I can strafe this guy. Yeah, he's not able to get me here. Medium tank ready. If I can actually kill fuck! GTI weapon factory repaired. Okay, well I got close. And you know, I I guess the barrier to entry at that point is the 3D printer. Uh, I've had I've had a 3D printer for two years now. I actually have two now, but um I've just really been focusing on other things. I, I mean, I've been thinking about a video series for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And I saw the amount of traffic that comes off the of Thingiverse, and it's got me interested in thinking that, uh, you know, it's a good expansion potential for my channel. I've totally given up on Minecraft. Way too competitive, way too saturated. But it's, I've done a little bit of research, and it looks like, really, 
there's not very many people doing 3D printing videos on YouTube. I mean, there is, but there isn't people, like, printing out StarCraft 2. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there it was a couple, but it wasn't like a series. It's just one off. Like, hey, look, I made this model. And they didn't explain how they did it or how they fixed it. They just were like, here, look, at it's cool. Here's a printer. So I think that's a good opportunity for me to... What's going on? We're dropping at this point. Anyway, so that's been an opportunity for me to, you know, improve on what's there and, you know, make myself stand out. And I'm probably dropping because we're lagging so hard. I don't know why we're lagging so hard. Probably because I have all the settings on extreme. And they shouldn't be on extreme, not on this computer. This is a little bit older. Um, not as good as other computer. Are you busy? Yeah. Why? Are you going to be able to help me with the Cat5 cable? Yeah, yes. When do you want to do it? Uh, whenever you're ready. But if you are um, if you can, can you download last week's uh, Gold Rush so we can watch it later? Yeah, I can do it. I didn't see the one from the other week either. Well, then, I don't even are they both on? One of them's on there, isn't it? Or just download them both. <sighs> we can watch those and then we'll watch them. Mm. Anyway, so I guess... We're going to try turning the graphics off on this computer. Oh, dude. Okay, so I set it up to maximum because I was just trying to... Uh, I was trying to see if I could get this computer to overheat. So we're going to set it down. It looks a little worse, but... Uh, whatever. Oh, crap. Now we can't get back to the server we were in. Alright, so let's just... Let's just get back into this. Okay, it's not working. Um. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm looking at printing. I have a model up on Thingiverse right now. It's a the the turret missile turret from StarCraft II. Uh, I'm gonna be printing a train from OpenTDD. I'm gonna do. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Haley, no, yeah, probably like the Haley, um, Haley engine or maybe like a factory or something from Planetary Innovation or Commander. I might do, I might actually do a Commander, I don't know, I'm decided. Maybe I'll do the Ant, maybe I'll do... Something iconic. Most likely a commander at that at that point. So we'll do commander from planetary annihilation. We're gonna do um, an airplane or jet from Generals 2 that we were able to extract. So that's kind of rare. Um, and then we're looking at doing uh, oh, I love Gold Rush. <laughs> Dad just came in and asked about Gold Rush, the TV show, so, which I'm like a week behind, two weeks behind on, but you know, stupid university is so taxing on my time. Um, yeah, so a train, a train, a turret, uh, I don't know, let's do a commander, and then we'll do, uh, I want to do something for Supreme Commander, uh, I don't want to do the Salem class. Cyberman Salem class, just because it's, it takes 16 hours, one, and it's just really difficult to print. I mean, I've done it, it's cool, whatever, it's too, too, too difficult. So I'll probably do, um, oh, factory or something. That was the most iconic thing. You know, I might, I might go try to do a power plant. From Supreme Commander, that'd be cool. Uh, let's see here. So I think we're gonna save for a APC and a. We're gonna be saving for an APC and Ion uh, Candle Beacon. Let's see where we go with that. 
which I guess damn we're on GDI. Oh, there's bots. Okay. Well. So I'm just gonna derp out this way. <sighs> so there's, and then we'll. You know, as much as I wanted to do something for Warcraft 3, I don't because Warcraft 3 is just notoriously difficult to deal with. Uh, maybe World of Warcraft. Probably be easier to deal with. Ready. Um, just drop into 3DS Max and there you go. But, you know, I'll probably do like, uh. Maybe I could do like a. Shit! Maybe I can do like a demolisher or catapult or something. Because I have a catapult already. And then I could do something from the Hive Workshop. Because you can get the models of Hive Workshop and import them into 3ds Max. And then you can just uh, have those models. So that's a huge repository of models you can get access to. Is that a ship out there? Oh man, I think it is. There's like a ship out in the water. Oh, there's another one too. Oh, that's cool looking. <laughs> that is cool looking. So we're going to try and see if we can sneak into the hand of Maud here. Oh, are you serious? Let's see how this guy does it. How the... Huh. Well, that's worth trying again, I guess. So there's lots of models you can get from Hive Workshop. Um, Medium tank ready. Yeah, so have something for Command and Conqueror, has a relation of TD, all kinds of stuff. Oh shit. Oh shit. Go up here. No, no. But yeah, I'll have uh, plenty of models to do and. Medium tank you know, ready. It's a Warning. GDI section of YouTube that's not totally ridiculously saturated. Nod so, under attack. Nod airstrip destroyed. And Medium I'm just gonna say right ready. now that if you want me to print out stuff from StarCraft 2 or whatever, I'm not exactly sure if I can do that for you. But uh, MRLS ready. You know, whatever. Let's see. Warning, GDI Tiberium Refinery under attack. The copyright issue is always a prevailing issue with everything. But, you know, there's always... Just look the other way and no one cares or whatever. Shit, fuck. Oh jeez. Alright, so we're just gonna try this. I think we'll be done for this episode. APC ready. Nod obelisk under attack. Is anyone going to repair that? Yeah. So, hopefully... Well, we'll see if there's that uh, stealth tank still over here. I don't know, I think we're good. GDI Tiberian Refinery repaired. Long parts are under attack. Oh god, I can't drive with shit. Oh, two kills. 
Alright, so we're gonna take a hit from the obelisk. And we're gonna try to get back behind here. Lord obelisk under okay, get the attack. fuck out of the way! And then the easiest place to place this, or the best place to place this, is behind here. Behind the silo. And they, they don't even realize it's there. Because if you put it inside the building, okay, that's obvious, you know. Duh, it's in there. But I found that if you place the alien cannon beacon right here behind the silo, no one can find it. It works excellent. And just get that APC, you can take up to two shots from the advanced guard tower or the obelisk of light. And it's just indestructible, man. So this should uh, destroy their economy. It looks like their airstrip's already down. So that's going to I'm going to dip out of here. Goodbye. Get slain! And with that, that is the end.